cheating in games. Do you do it? Now, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of cheating in games. There's save scumming, there's just outright cheating with codes, exploiting glitches, and hacking games. Now, to me, cheating can ruin gameplay and suck out any excitement from it if you use, like, most of those. I really disapprove of cheaters, like fucking scum of the earth, almost. Almost. I have used cheats before, but only after I finished the game legitimately. So no cheating, no nothing, 100% I've done it, yes, now I can use cheats because I deserve it. I played the game through normally and how it was, sh how it was supposed to, so might as well cheat. Like, the only cheats I really use to, like, unlock weapons or armor or treasure, like, awesome fun stuff like that, but, like, I don't know. I wouldn't, like, make myself invincible. I still want some sort of challenge, even though I'm probably overpowered, but, like, I would never put any of that stuff in through the first time playing through a game. Now, walkthroughs, I don't consider them too much in the way of cheating. I'd say it's cheating only if you follow it 100%. I don't mind people looking for a specific part and then not using it after, it's a totally fair way. If you're completely stuck with something, you're like, holy shit, I don't know where to go at all. I need to know where to go because I'm getting really frustrated and I'm gonna stop playing this game if I don't fucking find out. That's okay. I've done it before because certain games are really fucking cryptic, but I avoid it if I can. But that's just my personal opinion. Okay, now let's go through the list of different cheating mechanisms. Um, save scumming. To me, it ruins the story that you play through. Cause like, if you fuck up something, own up to it. Like, that's, that's your experience. If you keep reloading everything, it becomes a tailored game and not your own experience. So it's really fucking boring. Auto saving does annoy me sometimes. I mean, it's always really good when you've died and it just saved for you and you're just like, holy fuck, that, that saved my life. But I think you should be responsible for your own saving. Cause like, if you're really into the game, you gotta make sure shit's gonna be okay. And like, maybe you might lose out on a few hours, but I mean, I've done that before and I have, I've still played through games. So, I mean, it's not too bad, but I can see how it'd be annoying to people losing out on hours of gaming. But I don't know, auto saving just like babies you for me. But that's, of course, again, my personal opinion. Cheat codes, like the Konami code and shit like that. Emulators are so easy to cheat on. Like, there's a huge section where you can just type in a bunch of shit that everyone has, like, found out, and you can have anything you want. They can make you super overpowered and sucks out the whole challenge of the game. So, I really don't like using them at all. Like, only until I've played the game a billion times, and then I'm like, yeah, I want to do this and see what the fuck happens and see how powerful I can get. The one cheat code that I actually approve of, like, because it's so fucking hard, is Contra. Like, you're giving 30 lives, but holy shit, the game, you can still fucking die very easily if you even ha if you if you still have that on. So, like, if it evens out the challenge, then it's okay, but like, holy shit, Contra is hard. Glitches, although they're the game's fault, because obviously someone didn't pick it up, can make you very overpowered, and I don't like it. Um, there's a cheat in Final Fantasy uh, Tactics um, for the job classes. If you... Hi like if you highlight a skill that you can learn, but you scroll holding with the uh, square button, press to learn that skill over a non-highlighted one, you can sometimes fuck it up so that you get 999999 whatever how many nines in that job. So you basically learn everything for free without even having to be that um, job class, which is fucking ridiculous. You can also duplicate weapons in that game, which is obviously overpowered too, because then everyone has the same fucking sword and it's always powerful. Um, Final Fantasy IV does the duplication thing as well, but you have a character named Edge who has the throw ability and you can throw fucking Excaliburs at everybody and it's fucking insane. And we come to hacking games, which is the lowest fucking scum of the earth ever. Like, it makes you the biggest asshole, especially online gaming. Like, I've seen Call of Duty games, and like, especially, I think it was Modern Warfare 2? Like, some of the servers were still up, but they're just full of fucking hackers. Why do you want to be completely invincible and invisible and like, some bullshit like that? Like, just to fucking win. What's your problem? <laughs> People who cheat like that 
obviously hate losing and want bragging rights. It, it seriously proves nothing. It proves that you're a shit gamer and you need these things to actually win. So, why would you do it? Any of these kind of cheating things, like, I don't know, in my opinion, if you cheat, like, fuck you. You've ruined the game. You've ruined this experience. Get used to losing. Like, I'm so used to losing games because I fucking grew up with SNES and NES games. Some of them were fucking impossible. Never let you win. You had to be a good gamer. I am, like, I've regressed. I am not a good gamer now because I'm so spoilt with all these, like, auto-saving, hand-holdy pieces of shit. They're not all shit, but you know what I mean. Like, NES, NES games never did that for you. It's like, here's the game, what are the controls? I don't know, figure it out yourself, motherfucker. Hey, hey, hey. Cheating is not cool, guys. Don't do it. And if you do do it, finish the game first normally. Then it's fine, because you've proved that you can do it without cheats, and then now you can have fun with all the bullshit cheats. So, what is your opinion on this? Do you like cheating? Because if you do, I don't like you. But, I mean, like, cheating happens, obviously. So, let me know what your opinion is, and I will reply to you in the next video. Last episode was our video games nowadays, spoiling the future gamer generation, and I will be replying to these comments, but I'm trying to make it shorter because they're really long and there's a lot of them that I wanted to talk about, so here we go. Medio Bahamut says that in old games there isn't much guidance and you have to just deal with it, and yeah, it can be frustrating, but it can also open up to exploration, so that's also good. Uh, people should be open for new and old games before condemning it. And yes, there is a huge market for retro games. I've seen stuff in Kickstarter and everything where it's all retro style, like Metroidvania type thing. So I mean, it's still there, it's just there's not too many. Lavi Wolf says that they grew up in like the old NES generation and that kids these days, even if they go back to older games, they wouldn't know how fucking great it would be to beat a game like that. Like the excitement, the like, holy shit, I did it. They'll, yeah, like they'll probably get frustrated, they throw a controller, but who hasn't in their gaming career? If you haven't, that's kind of weird, but they have so many more options with gaming and it's more accessible. There's a game for everyone, casual gamers, hardcore gamers, mobile phones, every, you can play a game while you're walking down the street now. So they say the games aren't spoiling the future generations, but it's evolved something into something different with the amazing graphics, variety of genres, yada yada yada, instead of the same, like, generic, restricted one. Games are also quite cheap nowadays, too, because there's, like, free-to-play games and all that, so... And there's just so much to choose from that appreciation isn't as strong as when you were younger, like, when you were in the older generation where a game cost a shit ton, and you had that game just just that game forever, so yeah. Info makes a good point about older games being fucking hard to play, and like even I don't go back as often to play them, so why would the newer generation do that when they have a whole bunch of other things to choose from? They think that kids who grow up in gaming households have a better appreciation of older games in general, and it's becoming more of a widespread type of thing. Plus, a lot of older games are being re-released on new platforms, like the PlayStation Network, where you can download a whole bunch of PlayStation 1 games, so... Infel also points out that older games don't have generally bad graphics, and that they should be reworded to be dated, because, yeah, they are really fucking dated. <laughs> Zack001 says that older games versus newer games have completely different playstyles. So, like, the older games had limitations, so it was like more like Castlevania, Metroid games, where it's side-scroller, doesn't ask for too much, and now the newer Castlevania games play more like Dynasty Warriors, which is completely true. <laughs> they also mentioned that the spoiling of the new generation isn't the fault of the games produced, but rather the environment the players were brought up in, which is very, very true. Sporadic Wars says that they hate when game enthusiasts say that old games kind of suck, um, but they do think that retro gaming is expensive, and it really is, unfortunately. They think that new game consoles should support cheap digital alternatives, which they kind of are pushing towards because there's a lot of old PlayStation 1 games on the PlayStation Network. Ancient games like Pong and Pac-Man should be freeware, which I believe they are on, like, if you type into Google, I think if you just type Pac-Man, you can play the game, so it's free online, like, if you have a computer, but maybe not on console. I do agree that the digital copies of games are quite expensive for being a digital one and not a physical copy of them, although some of the prices are quite a lot cheaper, so... Eh, it's a toss-up. PlayStation Vita does a bunch of the old PlayStation Classic games, and I've noticed that the 3DS also lets you purchase old Nintendo games as well. So I think that's where everything is like headed towards. 
Haley of the Funk says that they grew up in the PlayStation and PlayStation 2 era and see old games as how on earth can you play this? Which, yeah, I can understand because some of them look like absolute like crap. But as they mentioned, they were fucking hot shit back then. The newer console generations that come out, um, it, it's pretty difficult to go back a generation or two to experience the classic games. Which I agree, because some of the original Nintendo games, like, people have mentioned, oh, you should go back and play. It's just like, oh, fuck no. They also mentioned that people with newer consoles aren't so spoiled, since there's always going to be technological advances, and no one can really help that, unless you wanted to regress for some stupid reason. But yeah, older gamers can appreciate new games and consoles, but I think Newer gamers can also appreciate the older games, just they just wouldn't really call it hot shit. It would be a different kind of hot shit. <laughs> Omega Metroid says that they are spoilt, but not with graphics, but with difficulty. Which, yes, there's a lot of hand-holding in these new games. <laughs> and like, yes, the like LA Noir one, where you can, can just skip anything if you fuck up too many times. It's just like, why? You're just like handing the game to someone, you have to earn it. They also mentioned that, yes, graphics do play a smaller role than difficulty, and that other people haven't really given older games a chance, because they look at it and they're like, ah, oh, so gross. And I do agree that if you're going to refuse to play one of the highly praised games of all time, something is definitely wrong with you. Thank you for all those great long replies. I absolutely love it. So do it again, and I will reply in the next video. So thank you so much.